issues around legacy have been haunting the peace agreement for nearly a quarter of a century. Letters of comfort given to the IRA by the then Prime Minister Tony Blair made sure their victims would never find the truth out about who killed their loved ones. British servicemen would not be afforded that protection and for many years they have had to defend themselves in courts and without state support. A bill now being passed through Westminster intends to correct that. Paul Young of the Veterans Movement explains. Our understanding of what's been proposed at the moment with this new system, is uh, this new commission, is that once that becomes law, the whole legacy industry, lawfare if you like, in Northern Ireland, will cease to exist. That means that any soldier or police officer that has been previously investigated before, their fires will be seen by this new commission and they should be given immunity from prosecution and then the files stored away never to see the light of day. This bill will itself create many more legal battles and some legal firms have already registered over 70 cases in order to try and beat the bill as it becomes law. It is expected that the Secretary of State will remove immunity from any former letters of comfort and those that do not cooperate with the new commission may still face prosecution. The Irish Taoiseach, or Prime Minister, Miho Martin, is not in favour and says it's an amnesty. Uh, fundamentally, um, you know, I'm very much opposed to what the British government is proposing here uh, in terms of um, essentially... Uh, the, the, the guts of an amnesty for people who committed terrible crimes, irrespective of whether they're uh, security forces or members of various paramilitary groups who committed terrible crimes. Uh, and for, for many of those paramilitary groups, uh, this is literally a get-out-of-jail uh, legislation uh, from any further investigation. Whatever the rights and wrongs around legacy, legal costs here are massive and without one conviction. It's thought... This bill will become law in the next few months. Doogie Beattie, GB News, Belfast.